the project has, has been a success. Mobilize stood out in two distinct ways. One was with their approach and methodology, and the other was with communication. So CFM Materials is a used commercial aircraft uh, parts provider. Um, we are the leader in the industry for CFM specific commercial aircraft engines and our primary business is to refurbish parts and the refurbishment and sale of engines. The engines, um, if you're familiar with the 737 and A320, Half the A320 fleet in the world flies with a, a variant of the CFM. It's called the CFM 56-5B. Um, the 737 flies exclusively with the CFM 56-7B. So that's a lot of engines. The engines and the parts we handle come from around the globe with various pasts and histories. Um, and they come here and we either uh, refurbish the engine uh, make it ready for sale to uh, tear down the engine and refurbish the parts and maximize the value um, for either us or our engine provider and consigners. We, uh, we have developed a uh, proprietary ERP system called Part Suite that was developed specifically for the used aircraft parts business and uh, meeting the challenges of handling of commercial aircraft goods, and uh, the configuration management side. A lot of our ERP system was written specifically for this business, and it has been very successful and was very successful up into the decision to migrate. It was originally developed back in 1998. I've been with them the whole time. I helped uh, develop a lot of it. We had, uh, it was written in VB6. It originally was with Microsoft Access. Talking with other businesses in our industry, repair stations, um, parts brokers, and other entities, um, it's, it's very apparent that everyone has tried their own thing. They, they have gone to set ERP systems such as Quantum and Quick Aviation. Um, they have gone down the venture of working with uh, a client such as Oracle or SAP and then customizing from there. Um, what we found is that a lot of our ERP system was written specifically for this business and it has been very successful and was very successful up into the decision to migrate. One of the reasons, one of the major reasons why we're, we decided to migrate over is because the third party controls in VB6, those companies didn't exist anymore. There was no, there was no updates to be done. At some point we decided that they, um, we wanted to keep all the functionality we wanted to retain everything that this proprietary software had. The decision to migrate was driven by moving into the latest .NET code and decisions down the road that, would, that .NET would enable us to make, such as uh, moving our ERP into a web hosting environment or you know, working out synergies with other tools that exist. So the next phase was to decide how we were going to go ahead and migrate over to uh, if we were going to decide how was the best approach for us to migrate over to .NET. Uh, my name is Q Thomas. I'm the IT manager at CFM Materials. Uh, when I took the position here at CFM Materials, uh, it was one of the first objectives, I guess, and main ones that in my time here we would uh, take our ERP uh, program part suite into uh, a new, uh, better future, uh, whether it be a uh, upgrading it from VB6 to VB.net or taking something off the shelf and, and customizing it. So the, the biggest uh, obstacle that we had in trying to take Part Suite to, to a better future was to find the resources of software or something that will help us without having the resources uh, to devote so much money and manpower into it. So we, uh, we had come across uh, VBuck, the Visual Basic uh, Upgrade Companion. That, that seemed too good to be true, so I had to do our, we had to do our due diligence uh, and look into it uh, to see if it was really good. 
so, so we started going down this path, and then we realized that there's actually companies that do this. And Mobilize was one, and we found out that Mobilize actually was the ones that created VBuck. We looked at a couple other competitors, and we started to uh, discuss the technical details of what our application does and what we want to be able to do at the end of the uh, migration period. Essentially, we called it a uh, equivalence migration uh, project. And so all we were trying to do is retain all the functionalities that it, our tweet has today and migrate and make sure that it exists in the .NET world. Um, so for us, the financial decision to go with a functionally equivalent style migration made a lot of sense. Um, there were experiences from some of those out there when you're customizing, you inevitably come across the dreaded change request. And that, that does mean more money because you hit an obstacle and there's going to be many more modules or specific code that has to be written um, that's changing the, the whole landscape of your contract. Um, with the functionally equivalent, um, it very much felt like a not to exceed contract where both expectations were clear that you're migrating your code and it, it's going to look and feel almost the same, as close as can be, but that it will behave in a functionally equivalent manner. So um, going down that path, we started to play around with the tool that was, uh, that was available to us. Again, it was called VBuck. And we started to, to see how how detailed this application was. It's a very powerful conversion tool, but it was something that, as the size of our ERP system, the lines of code that we had to manage, it wasn't feasible for us to be able to manually convert this code over or to be able to use the VBug tool and one or two developers to be able to, to do all the legwork. With the small infrastructure that we have, the small IT group that we have, we needed to make sure that um, that uh, the, the majority of the work is going to be able to be done by the company that we chose. Was it was a particular routine that we that we have in VB6, and this is used throughout Part Suite. It's one of our major routines that we have. One of the things that actually stuck out with me personally was the fact that I gave this exercise, this little sample of code, to Mobilize and a couple other companies we were looking at. Within the end of the day, I already had the converted code over from Mobilize. There was a second company that asked about 10, 15 questions, why we, why we wanted this, and so on and so forth. It took a couple of days, and then we got that converted code. Unfortunately, it wasn't the code they manually converted over. They didn't run a utility. They didn't, get, they didn't give us the feel of what we were trying to get out of it, which was we wanted to see the VBuck tool in in play, we want to see what the results we're going to look at look like, and we wanted to kind of understand in a small scale what the uh, conversion is going to, going to look like. And we got a clear understanding of every phase of this migration project in a very small scale. To me, it was invaluable. Vetted several different um, vendors to see who could do the best job. Ended up with uh, Mobilize because Mobilize um, seemed like the ones that knew their stuff. You could tell right off the bat that uh, they were in for to make sure that we had a good product, uh, to make sure that it was developed um, efficiently and um, fast. Um, the pricing was remarkable. The project has, has been a success. Um, of course, it started out with a vendor evaluation period um, in which I can very confidently say that Mobilize stood out in two distinct ways. One was with their approach and methodology, and the other was with communication. CFM has, we've been really pleased with Mobilize. They've been very helpful. So Mobilize was, was above and beyond in their communication. We always felt they were very capable in understanding of, of our needs and what we were trying to communicate to them. I also have to say that the progress monitoring um, was very, very ideal, uh, very useful, and we could always 
look at and, and know where we were in the process of migration, um, how many bugs were found, where the bugs were as far as wh how, how they were being fixed, and then uh, what status they were in. So uh, the TFS system was, was enlightening for us and, and mobilized made it a seamless transition for us to uh, leverage all the, the functions of the TFS system and, uh, and, and be successful with, with monitoring their progress while also uploading our own bugs that we were able to find and, and, and present to mobilize and have them fix, which, which they did 100% uh, of the time. So um, as far as just elaborating on the communication part of it, there was no obstacle where we had to go through a particular person like the program manager to be able to relay that message over to a developer or to a QA person. Everybody was always in the weekly meetings, every head of every department. And in our emails, they were distributed to every head of every department. So there was never any surprises. Uh, one of the things that benefited us as developers was the fact that we had straight communication with their developers. They've been incredible as far as fixing things. Uh, we actually had trouble keeping up with uh, finding enough bugs that, uh, that they could report back or that they could fix because they would fix things so quickly. Sometimes we would, uh, we would look at the code and this is a, a plus on the mobilized side is we would always ask to be able to view the code while it was being converted over. We knew it wasn't going to run, but we wanted to anticipate, we knew our software. Nobody else knew our software, we knew it. So we wanted to anticipate if there was any bumps in the road, we can go ahead and try to fix those or give suggestions to mobilize on what would be the best approach to a particular problem that we think they were gonna run into. And they were very open about it. They, they allowed us to view the code, they set up an environment where we were able to copy the code down, look at it, and if we had any questions, we can go directly to the developer JR came back and then they had one of their developers, their, one of their head developers come in and he spent a month here uh, working with us to make sure that he answered all of our questions. We did a transfer of knowledge to make sure that we had covered all the, uh, the little idiosyncrasies of VB.net and the way particular functionality that they had to do. We had some, some pretty sophisticated programs or uh, uh, forms and screens and they had to completely rewrite those because they just weren't possible from VB6 to VB.net with the, the tools that were there were available from VB6. They completely rewrote those and, um, and yet it looks identical. It looks perfect. The learning curve that we're going to have when we actually release it will be minimal because, it, uh, because they did such a great job. The application was so close between the VB.net and the VB6 that we had trouble even telling, you know, which, which version we were in. Mobilize did all the legwork for us. Uh, we, when I asked for an image control and the company that we were using was out of business, they supplied us three or four different ones. Because of the small infrastructure that we have, IT infrastructure, we do not have a lot of the manpower to do all the testing of parts we. And Mobilize was fantastic with being able to take up that slack. I mean, it was, it was kind of amazing how fast and quick they were to able to, to, uh, to research an issue and, and, and bring us some results. Whenever we would ask for anything like this that wasn't necessarily straightforward, Mobilize did not hesitate. They did not say no. They always provided solutions for us, more than one option. And so whenever, whenever we saw a piece of code that we thought that was going to be a problem, we would give that suggestion to the developers to mobilize, and immediately they would, they would give us feedback on, yes, this is the proper way, this is what we will do. And it was already integrated into the code. If we didn't know about a third-party control that we were still referencing, they would help us with all of this cleanup stuff. Mobilize was great in accommodating our insecurities or our, our concerns. And I stayed there for an additional few more weeks with their developers and I worked firsthand with them. I can attest to their knowledge, their skill, um, their professionalism. Um, they, everything that we were doing, 
I worked with some of their QA people. I worked with all their developers. I sat in the bullpen with them, and we worked with, throughout all the code. Anything that came up, we were a lot more efficient in those few four in those few weeks that I was there, just because they didn't need to uh, interpret any of our test cases or our bugs. I was right there to be able to answer any questions immediately. No wasn't in their vocabulary. It was more of a yes, we can do this, and we'll test it. They've been more than helpful in, in bending over backwards to accommodate us because they knew exactly our situation. They knew that we didn't have the big infrastructure to be able to do all this thorough testing. So they took it upon themselves to make sure that they, they did all of that for us. They were very open. They send us emails, snippets of code, suggestions on this is the best practice, uh, how to standardize your code using this new third party control. This is stuff that we would have to learn the hard way. They anticipated this. So they were very open and, and always gave us the best practice suggestions on, on, on keeping our code clean. Um, this is invaluable.